Welcome to this first video in a series to help you get the most from Surface Duo 2. With 5G, NFC, and a dynamic triple lens camera, Surface Duo 2 is an incredible phone. But it's so much more than a phone. Thanks to its dual touchscreens and unique Surface 3x2 aspect ratio, it lights up new reading, gaming, entertainment, and productivity experiences. In this video, we're gonna take a tour of the hardware and guide you through setting up your new Duo 2. Let's get started. As you remove Surface Duo 2 from its box and peel off the protective wrapper, you can instantly tell that it's a Surface device with its premium design and attention to detail. And it looks super stylish in this new obsidian finish. So let's take a quick tour of the device. On the right edge, you'll find a volume rocker and the power button, which now integrates the fingerprint reader. On the bottom, you'll have the USB-C port and the nano SIM card slot. And turning to the back, you'll see the new rear-facing dynamic triple lens camera and flash. Now, before we get started setting up, there's a few steps you'll want to do beforehand. First, ensure you've synced and saved all your information from your current device. If you're moving from another Android phone, we recommend saving a device backup to your Google account. And if you're moving from an iPhone, be sure to disable iMessage in the settings so that text messages will be sent to your new Duo 2. Next, you can insert your SIM card. Using the tool provided in the box, release the tray, correctly orient and fit your SIM card, and then carefully insert it back into the device. Finally, while Surface Duo 2 should have plenty of battery to complete the setup, it's always a good idea to charge a new device. Just connect the USB-C cable included in the box to a power source. And if you're in need of a USB-C charger that can plug into a wall socket, you can purchase one that we specifically designed for Surface Duo 2 that supports fast charging. So opening Duo 2, you can get the first feel for the incredible hinge, which makes this device so versatile. It feels so smooth to transition between the modes, and it has the right amount of friction that you can use it comfortably in any position. On the right hand of the screen, we have our front facing camera, perfect for video calls and you know, some selfies. And right here we have the speakers and microphones for making and receiving calls when using Duo 2 in a single screen mode and holding it to your ear. So now onto the exciting part. Let's turn it on. Just press and hold the power button until it vibrates. And as the out-of-box setup experience loads, it's the first opportunity to check out the dual pixel sense fusion displays. So these are bigger than before, opening to a brighter, more expansive 8.3 inch view. Starting the setup process, you'll be asked to select your language preference. Next, you can connect your Duo 2 to a Wi-Fi network. Then I'll quickly check for some updates. And now you'll be asked if you'd like to bring in data from a previous device. So this is where that backup you made of your previous Android device can come in handy. But as you can tell, we have a few options. We're just gonna start from fresh. You're now prompted to sign into your Google account. This ensures a smooth experience in the Google Play Store and within Google's apps on the device. There are a few other screens to help you get your Google services all set up, configure the settings, and accept the terms of services. And now you'll be asked to sign into your personal Microsoft account. This enables seamless access to Microsoft 365 services like Office, OneDrive, Edge, and more. There's a few more setups and privacy settings you'll accept. And next up, you're asked to set up a pin to help keep your device secure. And then you're able to set up your fingerprint sign-in so you can easily access your Duo 2. Just follow the on-screen directions to lightly tap your finger a few times against the power button at a few different angles. And after you've added your first fingerprint, you actually have the option to add more. We'd recommend setting up additional fingerprints with your other hand too. That way, it'll work no matter how you're using your Duo 2. Then you'll be asked if you want to install more apps and set some final preferences. And right before the setup completes, you'll be guided through a quick set of tutorials showing you the basics. And you're all set. After you're up and running, if you want to check your Duo 2 has the latest updates, go to Settings, System, and System Update to check for over-the-air OS updates. And to check your apps are all up to date, open up the Google Play Store, tap on the menu, then My Apps and Games, and check for any app updates. So that's it. You're all set to start exploring. If you purchase a screen protector, bumper, or case, now's the perfect time to fit it. And to get familiar with using Duo 2, you can check out the Tips app on the device or tune into our next video.